Well, hi, friends. I'm Pastor Dave, and I'm back with another story for today. Today's Saturday. And as we think about today's story, here's a question for you to think about as we get started. Think about the people who are important to you. If I asked you, who's important to you, would you know what that means? I'm asking you about the people that you think about, the people you care about, the people that matter to you, the people that, that count to you, right? Who's important? A long, long time ago, Jesus told a story, a couple of stories, about people who count. Today's story is actually three separate stories, and the book is called Who Counts? 100 Sheep, 10 Coins, and Two Sons. It was written by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso, and the pictures were drawn by Margot McGank. Some of these are some of my favorite stories, and I really like these pictures. I hope that you will enjoy and think about who counts. 100 sheep. 100 sheep. If just a single one would lo were lost, who would notice? Who counted sheep anyway? The man did. The man had a lot of sheep, a hundred of them, and he counted them every day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. <laughs> it took time to count. It took a long time to count. And Every day the man counted. But one day he counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. And then he stopped. There were only 99. He must have made a mistake. He had 100 sheep, not 99. He counted again. Still, there were only 99. One of his sheep was missing. He was responsible for all of the sheep, all 100 of them. Immediately, the man went to look for the lost sheep. He walked and walked, but he saw nothing. He kept walking. He looked to the left, nothing. He looked to the right, nothing. He walked. And he listened, still nothing. And then he heard it. Ba -a, 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 -a. a bleeding sound. He ran towards the sound and there she was, the lost sheep. He had found her. Oh, they both look pretty happy, don't they? She was too tired to follow him home. So he lifted her on his shoulders and carried her. He was so happy to have all of his sheep together that he invited everyone to celebrate. Some people said, what's so wonderful? It was only one sheep. You had 99 others. The man smiled. One sheep makes a difference. Without her, something is missing. But now my flock is complete. He wanted all of his sheep. This next story in the same book is called Ten Coins. Ten drachmas, ten silver coins. Every day the woman would count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. But one day she counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And she stopped. 
She couldn't have made a mistake, but she counted again anyway. Still, she counted only nine. One drachma was missing. She had lost one of her coins. Oh, the, women, the woman lit a lamp to see more clearly. She looked under chairs and in corners. No coin. She looked in cabinets and in waste baskets. Still no drachma. She took a broom and she swept the floor. There were crumbs and dust, but no coin. It was her fault. She had lost the coin and now she must find it. She, she searched again with the light and the broom. And finally, she saw something shining and she heard a ping. She looked down and there it was. The missing coin. She held the coin in her hand for a few moments and then she carefully placed it with the other drachmas. She was so happy to sell, have all the coins. She invited the women in town to celebrate. And some people said, what's so important? It was only one coin. And the woman smiled. Just one coin matters. Without it, something is missing. Now, my coin collection is complete. And do you see what this woman's holding in her hand? <laughs> yeah, she's holding a sheep in her hand, even while she's talking about the coin. There's one more story in this book, and it's called Two Sons. A father had two sons. <laughs> Easier to count than 10, much easier than 100. Here's the father, son one and son two. One day, the younger son wanted half of his father's money. It would have been his sooner or later, but he could not wait. He was restless and he wanted to travel. So the father divided his wealth in half and gave half to his younger son and half to his older son. The younger son went to a foreign land. There he had a great time doing whatever he wanted. But before long, he had spent all the money and he had none left, not even money to pay for food. And there was no one to share even a crumb of bread with him as there was little food in the land. The son went to work for a farmer to try to earn enough to buy something to eat. And the farmer told him to go and feed the pigs. Even the pods that the pigs ate looked good to that son. Finally, the son was so hungry and so tired that he decided to return to his father. But he wasn't sure what to say. How could he tell his father that he had spent all of the money. His good pants were torn, his shirt was stained, his fancy shoes had holes. He thought, I'll tell my father I made a big mistake. I will say that I'm sorry. I will offer to work hard to earn money. The young son returned home. His hair was uncombed. His face was dirty. His hands were covered with blisters. Hmm. But his father ran to greet him. He was so happy to see him that he didn't care about anything else. Instead of making his money earn his making his son earn money for clothing and food, he gave him a new coat, new shoes, even a new ring. And then he invited everyone to his home to celebrate. <laughs> There's that little sheep again. The older son was still working in the field when he heard the happy sounds of singing and laughter and he smelled sweet spices coming from his home and he wondered what was happening and he stopped one of the neighbors who was heading to his house and said, What's going on? The neighbor was surprised by the question. Don't you know that your father is making a big party for your brother to mark his return? Oh, the older brother did not know. When the father counted everyone who had come to the party, he realized that one person was missing. That person was his older son. He had forgotten to invite him. 
He ran out of the house to find his son. When the older son saw his father coming toward him, he turned away. He was sad and angry that no one had come to find him. His father spoke softly. Your brother has come home. I invited all our friends to celebrate with us. You must come and be glad with us. He tried to hug his son, but his son folded his arms across his chest. The older son finally said to his father, I've been with you all the years my brother has been away. I did not waste your money. I did everything you wanted me to do. I never left you, but my brother did. Then you make a big party for him? You never had one for me, and you didn't even invite me to his. The father thought, I have two sons. One, two. I paid attention to my younger son, but I discounted my older son. I didn't realize that he felt lost. The father took his older sons in his hands in his own. Please come and join the party. I love you. All I have is yours. Come and be with me and with your brother. I have two sons. He counted one and pointed to the house where the younger son was celebrating. And he counted two and put his arms around his older son. Without you, he said, something is missing. With you, our family is complete. That's my new story called Who Counts. I really like it. I hope that I can remember to count the way that Jesus counts. I want to count so that every sheep, so that every coin, so that every child matters. You matter to me. You matter a lot. And I know that there are people in your world that matter to you. I hope that today we can think about how we spread that news that without any one of us, the family isn't complete. We need everybody. I'm Pastor Dave, and I'm glad that we're together. I won't be here tomorrow because it's a church day, but I'll be back Monday with a new story. I hope you have a great day, and if you can think of somebody that you love, somebody that counts to you, I think you should tell them that today. I'll see you later. Goodbye now.